Extraordinary Dogs is brought to you by You Can Uber, where we believe all dogs are extraordinary. Clemens's team consists of Benny, Bjorn and Frida, aged eight and all from the same litter, and Fernando, aged six. Training is vital to ensure the dogs perform as a team. Our season normally starts around about June, so as soon as our temperatures are dropping around about the 10 degrees, we'd like to take them out. And then I would take them on short runs, but let them pull heavy-ish weights. So they're building the muscle, and then we're extending the, we extending the kilometers, and we're also increasing the speed. It's 8 a.m. As predicted, it's snowing, and the dogs will be running in challenging conditions. Clemens and his team are gathered at the village with the other mushers as he goes through the last minute preparations with the dogs. Obviously the most important thing to have them feel right is their hydration, is their, their food intake, uh, is having their feet checked and uh, make sure that their feet are okay. Dogs lack a collarbone and the rotation movement of human shoulder joints. This allows for rapid forward motion. All dogs also run on their toes and in conditions like this, it's vital that their feet are protected. Many mushers will place what are called booties on their sled dog's paws. This helps protect them and prevents the buildup of snow between the toes. There are 12 other teams in his four dog category. All are as hungry as Clemens to win. At 9 a.m., the first race begins. Clemens is one of the first mushers up. During the 20-minute race, the dogs will use something called their hidden button, a term used for when a dog is able to increase their metabolism. This is a switch, a bit like a turbo boost, that allows the dog to run without getting tired or having to stop. When humans take part in highly strenuous exercise, they start to metabolize the body's reserves, depleting glycogen. When cells run out of energy, the result is fatigue and exercise slows and stops until those sources have been replenished. dogs, however, are different. A canine's unique metabolism is the reason these dogs are able to run so fast. Rather than only metabolizing carbohydrates, they switch to metabolizing fat at almost twice the rate observed in humans. Dog muscle is, therefore, more adept at getting energy from fat than humans. So Clemens' dogs have plenty of energy on tap, giving them the speed and agility to conquer the fast turns and tight corners in this race. Much to his delight, Clemens wins his group. It was fantastic. Really hard work today. The, soft, the snow was really soft. It was, uh, the dogs fell in probably about five centimeters, sometime even further. Uh, they worked so hard, and so did I, actually. And uh, it's all good now. We're back, we finished, we finished well. Uh, dogs are happy. It's great.